Okay, let's check out the guild castle. So again, all of this content is coming out July 19th on GMS on the live servers. I'm sponsored by MapleStory and so I have access to these servers early. So this is the guild castle, this is the lobby. And within the guild castle you have like a bunch of different things you can do. And the most important one is research. Now, unfortunately the personal research uh, wasn't unlocked for us to explore so we can't really check any of that out we had a nexon employee unlock all of the public research for us having a full tree here unlocked would legitimately take a year or something because look at this the time taken to complete the research look at the bottom text it says 144,000 minutes to complete this guild castle research and that's just for one single research. Some of these researches have like 10 stacks. This is 14,400 uh, minutes. These all take an incredibly long amount of time. So I haven't actually looked too much into the guild castle. There is a weekly quest with the guild castle where you have to enter the cache of greed and then you kill 5,000 mobs per week. And the guild leader can actually see if you've killed 5,000 mobs or not. This is the first map you can enter. Can we even enter this map? Okay, so this is a personal research. So personal research would allow you to enter the second map on the right here. Not a public research. You cannot party with other members in the guild castle here. I tried. These mobs are instanced, so it's similar to Gold Beach. So I can, you can see your guild members in here, but you can't see them killing mobs. Each mob gives a set amount of EXP uh, and they scale to your level and the EXP will scale with the level. 5,000 mobs, that's like 30 minutes a week. Maybe less than 30, it depends on how good your mobbing is. And so when you kill the 5,000 mobs, you hand it in and then it'll tell you when it's been completed. If you spend 6k and X, that's why Scardor is extra and misusing is extra. They're so extra. Oh my god. It's because they spent 6k and X for an extra completion. So you can use Maple Points to speed up your researches, but it's 6k Maple Points a week. A week. So that's 24k and X a month. Okay, and then within the guild castle, you can do a little bit of decorating and whatnot. I think, unfortunately, these decorations are for the guild master only. I don't think juniors can place down furniture, but you can, ca you can decorate your castle as well. Your castle expands as well based off of your research. So when we had no public researches available, it was only two stories. Now that we have all the expansions done, we have three stories and we have multiple rooms. Right now, I don't have a personal research that allows me to teleport, so you can unlock this guild castle teleport. So then you would be able to open up the map, double click, and then teleport there. But since I don't have that personal research, I have to like find the room. And before you enter all these rooms, you will uh, get a little thing here. Just like that. If you proceed with Star Force Enhancement here, Star Catching will apply automatically. So you know how cancerous Star Catching is when it gets super fast? Well, thankfully, that gets resolved. If you untick Disable Star Catch, it's basically the same as if you are skipping it. It's auto Star Catching for you. I'm still- this feels super rigged still. It still feels rigged as heck. This is why star forcing off of 51015 is cancer. You do not star force off of 51015. This is also why 30% off is a scam. You think you're saving 30% of your money, but really they're gonna take that 30% of the money and throw it into you constantly failing 15 to 16. Future Ethereum is here to clear up a common misconception about this room. The auto star catch feature is not limited to one person at a time. Everyone in the room can utilize the auto star catching feature. It's just one person can display their item on the anvil at a time for everyone else to watch them star force. The anvil is purely for fun and has no effect towards the auto star catching. Your item gets displayed there for 180 seconds and everyone in the room can see the stars moving up, down, and if you boom. 
There is a 200 second cooldown before you can place it again, but this cooldown starts ticking as soon as you put your item on. So if you have your star forcing displayed for the entirety of the 180 seconds, then you'll only have to wait 20 seconds to display your star forcing again. But let's say you close your star forcing window 10 seconds into displaying the item, then you'll have to wait 190 seconds until you can use the anvil again. Interesting, so the anvil doesn't show, so you can't actually try to debate your guildmates and be like, okay guys, I'm gonna star force my eternal item now, but you are really just star forcing like a CRA hat that was anvil, so you can't debate them. And it's actually pretty cool if you hover over the item, if you look at the bottom right, I don't know if they intentionally made the stats appear all the way on the right. You can also see the stats of said hat. So that's the star force room, it's called the enhancement altar. Welcome to the library. Oh, is this to level up your traits? Oh, you can sit on these like chairs too. The android's ugly, get out of here. You're ruining the environment. Oh, so these represent the different traits. But how are you supposed to know what icon is what? Are you supposed to just like guess which trait you're leveling up? Bravo, Nexon. We're playing a guessing game. Making guild castle as vague as possible. Thank you. All right. I don't know. Library seems kind of useless. I mean, I guess traits are cool, but it's so easy to level up traits in my opinion. Or maybe I'm just privileged. I got my 100 traits like years ago. Let's enter the dining room now. Okay. What do we do in the dining room? Oh, I gotta put headphones on for this. One second, one second, one second. Can we play different music? Okay, let's do, uh, we, we all love Raindrop Flower, right? It's the jazz version of Raindrop Flower. So you can come in here AFK and just pretend like you're playing the piano. Okay, I wonder if the music changes for everyone then. It must. Because there's a cooldown on when you can change the song. So you don't actually have to sit there. You can like walk around. Can we can we sit on these chairs? Oh my god, this would be such a cute guild photo. Oh the probably the only the guild leader can sit in the middle, eh? And then and then us plebiscites have to sit on the side chairs. Let's listen to what is Outlaw of Lonely Island? I'm pretty lonely. This is cute. And so I think this dining room is like purely cosmetic. Wait, is the login theme regular or is a piano version? It's the piano version of it! Oh my god! Oh, this is so cute. When I die, I want this to play at my funeral. <laughs> this is such funeral music. It's so sad and like... Oh, I'm already thinking about my death right now and this comes on and I'm in the coffin and like... Oh. I gotta switch. I'm getting depression from this. I can't- I need to- Okay, depression for eight more seconds. Oh, you just give me, give me depression. One second, one second. <laughs> Get me off this depression! Oh my god, let's listen to Temple of Time. That's so cute. So good. I want all of these songs played at my funeral. This is also funeral music. Oh, I wish they had slime tree music here. Slime tree music is my favorite as well. Let's go to the party room. Whoop whoop. Is this a birthday surprise? Oh, you shouldn't have. Wow, congratulations on throwing your first party in the party room, Atheris. What do you think? This is our first time using the party room. It's the first of many to come. This is how I think Oliver sounds. Susan ruins everything. She turned on the lights. Susan is Maple's version of a Karen. Pit a pat gift box. 
Oh! Shall we buy each and every one of these? Oh my god, an $8 billion cake? No effing way. $8 billion? I'm buying that. Okay, what did that even accomplish? Have a spoonful and feel cr that cream melt in your mouth. And feel that cream melt in your mouth. Okay. Use it carefully as someone may have already used it. It looks like someone else decorated the party room. Do you guys still want to use it? Yeah, they did a shit job at decorating. They used the poor person cake. Oh, what the heck? Eight billion dollars just to change the cake in here? Who decorated it with the retro cake? So that last cake we saw was the two bill one. They're poor. Whoever was last in here is poor. Let that be known. We're rich. Let's spend it on sparkle fuzzy garland. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Delightful digital candles. Okay, let's grab that. That sounds great. Let's make this Yeti themed. We're balling out right now. Oh my god, that's so cute! What the heck? The, how much is that? Four billion just for these! Dude, I have spent 12 bill on this so far. Let me use this balloon. Okay, how much is that balloon? Okay, so far I've spent 15 billion on this. And now we're gonna use the candles. You have to be high to buy all these decorations. So we're celebrating 420 today. And voila, everybody. This is my $16.2 billion room. I wonder how long it stays. I think it stays permanently until someone changes the de decoration. To the next. Oh, I did not burp. You didn't hear anything. All right, the pool. So I'm gonna come up here. Wow! Invigorating content. Purchasable, wait. Oh my god, of course you have to spend a couple bill on tubes. A floating tray. Two billion dollars for a floating tray. Oh, that's kind of sick, to be honest. I'd spend two bill on this. <laughs> Better than the cake, that's eight bill. Okay, let's do the flamingo tube. 1.5 bill. 500 mil cheaper than the floating tray. This is awesome! Okay, scratch that. I'm not spending two bill on the floating tray. I'm spending two bill on the flamingo tube. This is so much better. Look at this. Oh my god, imagine if I haven't if I wasn't single for three years, six months, and thirteen days, and then you have your significant other on the other side, and then they're also a flamingo tube and you create a heart, but like I've been single for so long. This is not even actually possible for me, but like can you just imagine? <laughs> imagine if you weren't so lonely and you could create a heart with the flamingos. Just imagine how cute would this be? I need to leave. I'm, I need to leave. Let's go to the throne room. Will this stop the depression? This is a room that you get automatically. This is just a room I think you'll perpetually have. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Never felt energy like this before. Is it calling me? An intense energy surges and resonates with the surrounding atmosphere. You can receive the following Guild Castle weekly rewards. So you can get five nodes a week. Five whole arcane symbol selectors for a whole week? No way! Yes, I'll take that! Thank you! Wow! And it's untradeable! Wow, look at the blackness on this side. We love the Maple Story graphics in 2023. There you go, guys. Five nodes a week, five arcane symbols a week. This might increase though, based off of the castle rank, I assume. Um, I don't know. Let's see. We'll go in the other rooms. We're gonna explore each room. I don't know if there's a, a, a shop or not. We'll find out. So we are currently in the conference room. Is Aaron best class? I'm gonna call a meeting for this. Meeting in progress! Please be respectful and considerate of others. 
I'm gonna call the meeting. I'm gonna summon other guild members to the conference room. I can't do that. I have to wait six minutes. Cool. It's not like anyone else is on. ABC? And then we start voting and we vote ABC. Okay. Voting has been completed at the... Uh, completed ABC? So far 100% people agree ABC? I guess we can end the meeting now. That's all we really care about. ABC takes the cake, baby. Okay, here's the shop. Here we go. I guess. So these are just HP. This is a Guild Castle specialty return. What does that mean? This- Ooh, this increases your pet fullness. Not that anyone really cares, I guess. I- I actually am curious. This recovers 30 fullness. This does too. Okay. You feels more power- You feels more powerful. Okay. You feels more powerful. Let me screenshot that because that is not proper- I mean like my English sucks, but I don't think that's proper English. You feels more powerful. So this gives you 30 attack, but this only applies in the cache. So this is where you kill the 5,000 mobs. This gives you normal damage. Okay, this is also in the in the cache. And then you can buy one whole flame a day for 15 mil. Why the heck would anyone do that when you can buy... You can buy one node a day. So you can get seven nodes a day. One node for four whole million dollars. One node a day. And one whole arcane symbol selector. Guild Castle Room Blueprint, a blueprint needed for building the Guild Castle's conference room. Express your feelings to someone else. Stop holding in your feelings and express yourself. Light these up to set off a celebration on a special day. Flower petals flutter just like my heart. <laughs> Potion that changes you into a brown hair and it's 300 mil. White hair, 300 mil. Kitty potion, 500 mil. I assume that shrinks you. Anyways, let's look at the guy now. Castle crown. Are these just like purely cosmetic? So 25 all stat, one attack power. Got the castle suit, the castle cape. I'm gonna start selling some of these Connor rings. I guess we'll just buy all three. Can I wear all three? I highly doubt you can flame these. Let's buy the one single flame we can use. No, you can't flame them. So far, this remains to be the only flammable totem. Can we potential it? I don't think you can. This item cannot gain potential. You can't do anything with these totems. So they are seven, all stat seven attack. You can get this chair for a hundred mil. This is the same chair that you sit on in the library. Oh, but there is a set effect. There is a 15 attack set effect. Afterlands is 20 all stat seven attack. But you... So you only really lose out on 13 all stat per brooch. I guess it's still weaker than Afterlands if all the Afterlands totems are 20 stat 7 attack. But again, I guess it's an alternative if you don't want to do the quest line for Afterlands. So there's that. Then you have these equipment pieces as well. Let's throw them on. 2 set effect, you get 5 attack. 3 set, you get 10 attack. Damage against monsters. So you have normal... Damage against monsters when you wear the set effect. It's just something to wear to get to level 200, I guess. Let's see how it looks, though. <laughs> you look like kind of a dingus when you wear it, but you look like an absolute royal pain in the butt. <laughs> Express your feelings to someone else. Oh, you can only use these in the like, guild castle. Oh, it's like a bunch of bubbles. Heart bubbles. Okay. Let's do the pew pew heart. All right, yeah, 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 right, right, great. Would totally spend the amount that I spent on this. I don't know how much. Wow. Happy 420, guys. I don't have the party room anymore, unfortunately. Scatter pollen. I set a fancy mood, so I can't set one for another 17 seconds. Okay, how much did I spend on these? So I s <laughs> Oh my god, those hearts are 100 mil, 150 mil! Those fireworks, the confetti, 100 mil! And now the pollen. The pollen is 150 mil.
Nice. Now, these are the transformations. Ooh, this is the damage skin I got. The white one is gonna be the non-crit version of the damage skin I just got. <laughs> How much are these? These are 300 mil! And then you got the kitty potion to turn you- Okay, now this one's actually worth it though. It's 500 mil! This one's- this one's worth it though. Oh, but I can't use any skills! I can't do anything! Can I even sit on the furniture? I can't even sit on the furniture! Can I sit on a chair? I just- I just exist in tiny form. A little bug cat kapoo? How about that? <laughs> this is kinda cute though. Can I find another guild member? Guild safe doesn't really apply for reboot because we can't trade. I don't really know what guild safe does, but we'll find out. Only tradable items can be stored in the guild safe. So, uh, I guess, yeah, reboot it's useless because we have no tradable items. You can also store meso for members if you'd like. However, keep in mind there's a fee. Yeah, the safe is uh, useless for a reboot. So this is the lobby. Oh, I was in the lobby before. So this is also one of the starting rooms that you get when you first come uh, create your guild castle, except uh, I'm not sure that there's any actual usages for it. Now this is the storage room. Oh, this is also one of the default rooms that the guild castle unlocks as well. Except there aren't usually these furniture items here. Last time I was here it was very empty. I don't know if my guild leader just decorated it and put these statues in here or what. Or it's literally storing our decorative items. Like, is every single one of these items in here? I don't know. So it's literally just a storage room. The greenhouse. This is new as well. This looks like that the Hogwarts room. Outhouse thingy majig. Outhouse? Garden house! Greenhouse! Greenhouse, not outhouse. Water, water the chain in the middle. Don't know what it does. I don't even know how to water it. I can sit on these chairs. You can have like some cute tea time. You can sit on the ledge. Now I'm holding NPC. It's not doing anything. Let's see if the training room actually is anything useful. Ah, interesting. So you buy chairs and then... Oh, it's a, essentially an AFK room. An AFK EXP room. But you don't get any EXP past level 221. So this is a totally useless room for your mains. It is one bill for the, the chair that gives you the most EXP and 100 mil for the other one. It is kind of a cool chair. I guess. How we're- it looks like we're fencing without the fence gear. Oh, the bow and arrow one's so lame! Why would they make the archer one better? Oh, so these chairs, de depending on what level you are, you sit on different chairs. So only level 200 and above can be uh, archers and people under 200 can be swordmen. Generally, these AFK rooms aren't that great unless you're okay wasting electricity bill leaving your computer on 24 7 because this is an AFK room. Yeah, I guess that's all. That's all the rooms. I have now officially showcased every single room in the castle. 